going shopping for our Operation Christmas Child where you go buy stuff for a little kid and you fill a shoebox. So we're gonna go do that and then we'll show you guys what we got. So we're shopping for our box right now, but we have to get a few more things. We've got to get crayons and a coloring book, and we have to get um, like a toiletry item. But so far, Fairby's doing really good. We've never been to the toy section, so she's done really, really good. I'm really proud of her. So we found some really good stuff. I'm really happy with what we got. So now we have to go home, put it in a shoe box, and then next week we take it and drop it off. So by the time you guys see it, it'll be time to drop the box off. But I'm excited. Fairby did good. And Fairby did really good in the toy aisle. Um, we've never been in the toy aisle before because we don't have any business in the toy aisle. <laughs> so she did really good. Um, she was very tempted by, you know, a few things, obviously. She was really tempted by some of the stuffed animals and stuff, which I felt bad because she doesn't, you know, she doesn't know that there's toys that are not for dogs. That was probably like a, what are we doing thing for her, but I'm really excited. Um, and whenever we get home, I'll show you guys what we actually got. So you have to actually, you don't have to wrap the box, but they say if you want to wrap the box, you can, but you have to wrap the lid and the, um, the bottom part separate because they have to check it, you know, obviously at the sorting facility and make sure it's, you know, I guess not bad stuff. So we're going to wrap this. Gift wrap is 100% recyclable in case you didn't know. <laughs> this is our box. If you do this, I do not recommend using a flip top box 
um, just because it was kind of hard to wrap. All right, so we're gonna show you guys what we got to go in our Operation Christmas Child box. So Faraby doesn't understand that this is not for her because she's never had uh, toys, basically, that are not for her in our house. We don't have kids, we're not around kids. She doesn't really get it. This is kind of a challenge. <laughs> it's a really good learning experience, though. So I wanna show you guys our box. So this is the box we're using. Um, so we got this, Disney Princess Jumbo Coloring and Activity Book. We got a box of Crayola crayons. We got this really, really cute little, it says a stationary set, um, but it was in the dollar section at Walmart, but it just has like a little eraser, it has a pencil, a pencil sharpener, a sticker, a sticker sheet, um, and then it looks like it has like a little notepad. We got a pack of socks. Um, I asked the lady who was in there working, because I don't have kids, so I don't know what size socks to pick, um, but this is supposed to be for like a, a six to nine year old kid or a six to nine year old little girl. And so she said this is the size she would go with. I thought this was really cute. We just got a regular pink toothbrush. This Trolls World Tour lip balm. We got a harmonica because why not? I got this little Paw Patrol friend and Fairby is very, very interested in this little thing. So I just got this one. I thought it was the cutest one. Little girl, dog. I know, I know, Fairby really wants that. It looks like you. I know, we'll get you one next time, okay? But we didn't get you one today, okay? We, not, that's not for you, that's for a little kid. Okay, so we got this little baby doll. And if I can think about it, I might make it a little blanket to put in here. And then we got this, which is a Briar Horse Mini Winnie. I'm really excited about this. This is a surprise one. So it says it has a mini Winnie horse, a sticker, and a mini catalog, which I don't know what the catalog is, but it has a sticker and a mini Winnie pony. I was a horse kind of girl growing up, so I was excited about that. And then we have to write a little Christmas letter. And what else do we do, Fair Fair? We have to say a prayer over our box. Yeah, to say a prayer over it for the kid who gets it, and then you put in a Christmas letter, and you can put in a picture. We're probably gonna put a picture of Fairby in there. I think that would be nice. I think a little kid would like a picture of a doggy. Probably put one of Fairby's stickers in there too. Um, so probably do that, and probably put in a little sticker. I mean, a little letter, a little card or something, and that's it. I ended up sewing a little blanket for that doll, so I just used like a flannel type fabric for the back in yellow and then I had this fabric left over from something else so I'm gonna wrap the doll up in it. I thought that would be fun. Now we put our little doll in a blanket so now it's a little bit better. Hopefully that's good. We are getting ready to go take our box to the drop-off location. And obviously, it's several days later. I don't know if I'm gonna take Faraby in either because like I said, it's a church. And even though Faraby is a service dog, churches don't have to observe that because it's still considered private property. Um, so once again, because I'm not a, a member of the church that we're taking it to, I don't wanna just, you know, assume I can bring my dog because that's not right. I'm sure they probably wouldn't care, but you know what I mean. So she's probably gonna sit in the car. I'm assuming it'll be very close for me just to get out and hand it to him. I don't know. Obviously we'll see how it goes, but I'm gonna shut this off so I can drive. So that was super easy. You guys pretty much saw the whole entire process from everything from shopping to all the way to dropping it off. So whenever we dropped it off, I didn't film because all you did was just drive up and hand them the box through the window. They handed us a thank you note with some information about it. And then they also handed us a sticker. So that was cool. And that was it. So if you're interested in participating, but you're seeing this after the fact, you can go online and donate and pack a box that way. You can actually kind of go through it like a shopping cart and pick the different items you want to put in. So that's pretty cool. So they always do stuff year round. Um, you don't have to wait till Christmas to pack a shoe box. I will link them below for you guys in case you're interested in participating. Like I said, they do this year round, so you don't have to wait till Christmas. Or if you're seeing this after, 
Oh, thank you. <laughs> or if you're seeing this after um, the last drop off date for this year, you can still go online and, and see how you can participate. So thank you guys so much for watching. We'll link a video just for you up here. We will link a service dog shopping playlist here and you can subscribe up here. Bye guys.